Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So we all have been waiting for lock screen customizations from OnePlus. Oxygen OS doesn't have any kind of lock screen customization. But do not worry, we do have an unofficial method using which you can customize the entire UI of Oxygen OS. So in this video, we'll show you guys all the customizations which you can do using that unofficial method. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I'm using my OnePlus 9. So first of all, let me show you the software information. You can see my OnePlus 9 is running on the latest build of Oxygen OS, which is version .600. And this had the security patch of 5th April 2024. And before starting the video and wasting your time, let me clear one thing. To customize your phone, you need to have Magisk installed or you can say your device should be rooted. So if you are ready to do that, you can root your device. I'll provide all the routing guides in the description below. Method is quite simple. On every device, you have to follow the same method which I'll provide in the description. And later on, you just need a module which is this. I'll also leave the link of this module. After that, in that module, you need to install one more module which is Oxygen OS customizer. But if you don't want to root your device, you can still watch the video to know all the customization options which you can do using this module. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So once you install all these things, later on you can find Oxygen OS customizer in the settings page also or else you'll have a different application. You can see it consists of all the customizations related to status bar, quick setting tiles, quick setting header, navigation bar, etc. So we'll cover one by one. I'll talk about only important settings which I am using here. If you wish to install, you can try out other customization options also. So first let's talk about the status bar. In the status bar, you can move the position of clock. You can see I've set to left side. If I want, I can keep it in the center or else towards the right hand side but I personally like keeping towards the left hand side you also have the option to change the fonts of the clock style and then you also have an option where you can add the date in the status bar which I have done if you want you can also set the custom color for your clock and time under status bar option we do have notification panel options also in which you have things like remove charging complete notification so whenever your device is completely charged you'll get notified about removing the charging cable and you also have few notifications for the low battery and flashlight on the status bar you can also enable this brightness control option where you can just slide on the status bar to increase or decrease the brightness and you can also add a battery bar which you can see i have added on the top side if you are able to see the battery bar color is in white you can set different colors like for charging i've set green power saving also i've set green and for fast charging i've set purple the color will automatically change if the battery level is critical, it will change to red and if it goes to warning level, it will show yellow. You can also make changes in the battery icon. So there are a lot of battery icons present. For example, iOS 16, iOS 15 and many more. So according to your style, you can set any one of them. After that, moving to the quick setting tiles. So here you can see this is how I have rearranged all the quick setting tiles where you can see I've set the custom color. And if you see, I've also increased the counts of quick setting tiles. And if you also see the brightness slider, that has also been set in two different colors. So you can do all these things from here. You do have the option to increase the quick setting tiles count, which I have done both in landscape and portrait mode. And as you saw, we have set custom color that can be done from here. And if you want, you can also set the custom length for quick pull down. So by default, it's 25%. I can increase it. So here you can see the line also increases while I'm increasing the length of cooldown. After that, we also have some options to set the header images. So if you want to set any custom header image, you can do that. But by default, there are few images present. For example, if I set this and now if I pull down the quick setting tiles, you can see that header image towards the top side. And the same way, instead of image, you can also use the clock. For the header, there are total eight styles. So for example, I'll set this. And now if I pull down, you can see that clock here towards the left side. Moving on to the navigation bar. So here you have some options to make changes in the navigation gestures or the width. I recommend you to keep it default until unless there are mistouch happenings. I generally don't make any kind of changes here. Then moving on to the buttons. So here you do have some options like you can use the volume button to control the music and you also have an option to trigger torch using the volume button. After that going to launcher. So here you can make changes and if you guys remember oneplus doesn't provide option to make changes in the app drawer icons by default we only have four grids using this customizer you can add five applications in a single row which i have done and this looks pretty neat consuming less space also now talking about the lock screen customization so guys yes there are a lot of lock screen customizations and many clocks available 
so here you can see this is the first style and if i go to the end there are in total 21 clocks available and it is not like you cannot customize them you also have the option to customize these clocks you can set the custom colors, align the height, text scaling, etc. And if you personally have any custom fonts that can also be used just by using the option of pick fonts from the internal storage. Using this customizer, you'll also have an weather widget on the lock screen and this is how it looks towards the bottom side and I personally like this widget. Talking about fingerprint presets, you can see in total 17 presets are already there which you can use. You can also use the custom images for the fingerprint icon. Under sounds we do have these options like you can enable things like smart pause which automatically pause media when the volume is muted and will resume automatically when volume is restored within the set time. You can also enable pulse so whenever you are playing any music you'll see this equalizer towards the bottom side and this can also be customized. If you want you can also set the custom color for the volume slider and if I show you here, you can see I've set yellow color for the volume slider also. Under miscellaneous, you do have some options like advanced reboot. So if that thing is enabled, you can just long press on the power key and towards the top side, you'll see an option called advanced reboot using which you can directly boot into recovery, bootloader, safe mode or restart system UI. So guys, these are some of the customizations. What you can do it on your OnePlus smartphones running Oxygen OS. And you guys let me know in the comment section below, according to you, which is the best customization you saw in this video. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.